world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Before we start, thank you very, very much to everybody that watches these videos and to all the people that subscribe. Please don't stop doing that. Um, that's all wonderful. Um, but yes, I'm at 2000. Can you believe that? And a... Two years ago, when I started this thing, I only wanted five subscribers and maybe a troll. So now I have plenty of both. Um, anyway, wonderful. So today we are going to make this thing look better. Okay, now, to do this, I'm going to start by cleaning it. I'm going to use my Chemco 3-in-1 chemical paste cleaner with one of these to rub everything. Um, if the blade, because I don't want to take off the patina completely, I just want to make it look nice. Um, and then over here and over here and wherever. So I just want to make it look nice, but not necessarily super shiny. So I'll see how that works. If that does not work, then we're going to go to my rusty uh, steel wool and just lightly rub everything. Um, but I don't want to take off too much because otherwise we're going to dull this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, so just to try and clean that up and then when we're done, we're going to use a soft rag and some Brasso. The stuff is magical. Okay, so I don't think I need to really resharpen it. It's still quite sharp. Um, now I might just give it a little touch up on something um, to get the edge back. So yes, um, like I said, this is from a guy... Um, an older gentleman, well, not really that old, he's a bit older than me, anyway, um, from our church. Um, so, yeah, whatever, I got it from somebody else that got it from him to see if I can maybe fix it, things like that. So, thank you very much, Yapi, if you're watching this video. Um, and then, yes, let's see if we can make this look pretty again. We're also going to braai. Um, we're going to make prego rolls or something today. Okay. Lovely lazy Sunday, daughter is doing arts, I'm drinking beer, we're going to braai now, and my son, I'll show you now. Yeah, he's playing with his hose pipe in a pool with holes. If you have one, two, and here's a five pack of SA braai brew, so seven packs of fire lighters. What type of fire lighters, ach not fire lighters, briquettes would your wife buy if you send her to the shop to just buy a bag of briquettes? Of course she's going to buy... 105 rands worth of premium Instabrick instant light briquettes. Uh, 20 minutes, zero to zero. No mess, no fire lighters, no kindling. No fire lighters required. Yes, then this is what she buys. But we'll get a braai now. I don't know if you can see that. I hate this when it's easy to open packs. Because that feels, sorry for the shakiness, that they don't want me to use a knife and we cannot stand for that inside here we have these bags so there's four of them for the four kilograms and then apparently you just do this and then they start burning well so far so good i suppose let's see what happens okay so the bags look like they've finished burning we'll see now if the charcoal actually does anything these things are burning like little monsters so I suppose hey this works and if you really want to have a quick fire this is very nice okay so the toothbrush and this thing didn't do as much as I wanted it to so I'm just gonna take this um, wet it put the same green paste on and just lightly rub it because I want it clean but I don't want it necessarily super shiny because um, remember, patina shows age, and when you're restoring old things, you don't actually just want to go and put sandpaper everywhere. So, let me quickly try that, and then I'll come back. Okay, so, all the rust is off. Everything feels nice and smooth, and it's looking pretty good, but quite dull, because water and soapiness and whatever is going to do that to a knife. Okay, so now, let's do some Brasso. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to spray this whole thing with tool in a can also to just flush out the insides. And then we are going to kind of, what do you call it, um, keep the 
protect everything with the oiliness of there. I just need some sandpaper. Okay. Um, over here you can see that it has a little chip broken out. So if we can just smooth that over, then that will at least also look a bit better. And then after we've sprayed it with tool in the can, which is like one of those, I don't know, silicon, non-silicon, whatever. You know, it's the same as WD-40 and those things. Um, yeah, then it will also make the wood nice and shiny again. Well, I hope so. Because this was somebody's father's knife. And we don't want it to look worse after they gave it to me than before they gave it to me because that would be quite bad everybody loves a sunday sundays are wonderful we went to church this morning Saw my brother and his wife and their children there. Although we did see them yesterday for my son's birthday. That video I didn't post yet. I'll post it during the week. So that was nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to take anything more off there. Yeah, it's looking horrible, but that's the way it's going to look now. Okay. So, let's quickly do this. Um, Brasso is wonderful stuff. I suppose you can get it everywhere. I suppose. Um, but, yeah, it's like a brass polish, but it works for pretty much all metals. Okay, so you rub it, and it... Do you see the black? It eats off um, patinas and what what and stuff. So it eats off all the surface rust and things. And then if you leave it, it turns like white. And then you polish it afterwards. For something that was made pre-1988, I think is when South Africa started making the copies. Because remember, this was made in Germany up to 1988. Um, well, it was actually, yeah, made in Germany for all their colonies and things like that. Now, we were never a colony of Germany, but, um, back then Namibia, Southwest Africa was. But anyway, I know these things were here from the beginning. I have several copy videos if you want to go check that out. They're not in a specific playlist, just under knife reviews. Um, anyway, so in 1988, we started making them here in South Africa. And since then, this is like, well, even before then, it was like a household brand. But since then, it's, well, pretty much the only production knife company in South Africa. Now, that changed a few years ago. Um, but then Lasher bought Copy, And then they started producing them again. Now, I'm not sure where you can reliably buy these things. Um, the last lot I bought was from The Survivalist, um, which is a place in Cape Town, if I can remember correctly. But it's an online store, so if you want to buy, just Google The Survivalist. And then you can buy it there. I'm going to do this for a second or two, and then you see it turns like dull white. Then you're going to buff it off again, and then we're going to oil it and wipe it, and then it should be fine. So, okay, let me just buff for a second more, and then I'll show you. Okay, so this thing has been, let me just get a clean part. Um, this thing has been buffed now, and now we're going to just rub off all the excess whiteness, the whatever. Okay, there we go. 
looking quite nice and let's see can we actually see that what does that say the copy made in germany beautiful okay so it feels nice and it looks better we'll still buff it for a little bit just to get the shine to come out and then um yes next okay i'm not going to show you this because it's quite messy tool in a can i like this stuff it's cheaper than wdl 40 and all of those things silicon free non-conductive displaces moisture blah blah so i'm going to take this thing and spray the inside and spray the pivot then i'm going to open and close the pivot spray like that because this thing is quite a lot of force okay just to get all the gunkiness out of there then i'm gonna take a towel or something um, or a piece of toweling and just wipe everything off okay as much as you can now remember this stuff is not a lubricant really so i'm gonna take a few drops of singer oil just drop it in there just to help with the pivot because this thing doesn't really have anything apart from wood and the blade moving up and down because remember this whole thing that lifts here at the back that's your like back spring okay because this is a very rudimentary slip joint okay but i'm going to drop a few drops of this in there just to lubricate it and then we should be done so i'm going to spray this now and wipe this now and then i will show you what it looks like okay there we go i'm done um doesn't look like new but it definitely looks awesome old it still has its original patina and listen to that snap okay so that's fantastic so i will be sending this on um maybe throw in a few stickers maybe one of those flat to copies just to say thank you and then this will go back to its original owner and he can have his dad's knife for a few years i'll take like a normal sharpening stone and just give it a quick touch up but i'm pretty sure this is not going to be used i think this will be saved as something to remember somebody by and that's me um i'm gonna bry now follow along if you want to it's sunday enjoy your sunday all of you stay safe happy and have a good one goodbye like I said, we're doing Prager rolls, so these are little minute steaks. Now, I always feel very poor when I go to buy these things. But anyway, so we're going to do that. Um, and then this is what we're going to use on it. Steer Prego sauce and some spur steakhouse seasoning. Okay, so the fire is ready. Let's do this. These are minute steaks, so it's going to be like, I don't know, seconds. And then I'm going to turn them over. Put on my spice, two of them I cannot do that because apparently the kids won't eat prego sauce and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so my spare prego sauce is on here um, and I must say it's burny but delicious but not super burny but I left a few empty for the kids because they do not do burny that much because they're kids. Oh that looks lovely. Okay, sorry, I didn't actually show you this thing. I just started eating. But for all of you that stay till the end, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. I remembered to take a photo of the last one that we made. The last one.